Hi there, students. It's Matias again. Oh no, Matias again. I know, I know. But I've got something to tell you about nutrition in ecosystems. Did you know that all living things need food to survive? Da, Matias. Of course we know that. Okay, but did you know that depending on how living things obtain their food, they can be classified into different living things? That's what we are going to talk about today. Let's start with producers. For example, these plants, or algae in aquatic ecosystems, they make their own food. They are autotrophs. Let's go now with primary consumers. Primary consumers feed on producers, so they are herbivores. For example, this rabbit. Secondary consumers feed on primary consumers. So they are carnivores. As, as an example, I can tell you foxes. A fox can eat rabbits. Tertiary consumers feed on secondary consumers. They are also carnivores. For example, an eagle. Eagles feed on foxes. Scavengers feed on the remains of dead animals. And finally, decomposers break down dead animals and plants. All these living things make up a food chain. Food chains show how living things feed on other living things in an ecosystem. As you can see, arrows in a food chain always point from the food to the consumer. And food webs are made up of many food chains joined together and interconnected. And here you are an example of food web. First of all, we've got the producer, which is this tree. Then we've got the primary consumers, such as the mouse, the rabbit, the goat. There are four secondary consumers, the snake, the owl, the wildcat, and the jackal. And finally, we've got two tertiary consumers, the lion and this eagle. Remember that there are also scavengers and decomposers. And that's all, students. You see, it was very important. Bye-bye. See you in the class.